Again, I, I just want to remind, remind my colleagues because, you know, I, I don't want them to forget about hypocrisy, okay? I, I don't want them to forget about hypocrisy, but, you know, Donald Trump was asked about Jeffrey Epstein, and when he was asked, he said, you know, Jeffrey likes him young. Well, how did the president know that? How did he know that Jeffrey Epstein likes him young? Perhaps some people are saying he was there. Does anyone else wish to speak on the Goldman Amendment? Mr. Mr. Chairman. Moskowitz. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, you know, again, just to reiterate the point, but I, 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 rather than my words or my opinion, you know, I, I think I'm going to quote Senator Ted Cruz, who the chairman appeared on his podcast. And in fact, just to remind the chairman of Ted's own advice to the chairman, I made a board for you, Mr. Chairman. You were on the show with Ted Cruz, in which Ted Cruz said to you, I'm going to give you some unsolicited advice. Now, by the way, Ted Cruz, right, clerked at the Supreme Court. He knows the Constitution pretty well. But you guys know who Ted Cruz is, right? He's run for president a couple times. Uh, so Ted Cruz said to you, Mr. Chairman, you should have Hunter Biden in a public hearing. He actually said his advice to you is just have him in a public hearing. And, and again, I go back to, I go back to what, what is the majority so concerned, or to use some of the words of my colleagues, afraid to have Hunter Biden sit at this desk Mr. Chairman, you control the rules. You could give everybody 10 minutes. You could get everybody 15 minutes. You could get everybody 20 minutes. You, you could give your side as much time. We could go on for days here, quite frankly, because again, you, you control the rules as you just showed. But the, the one difference that you, you guys object to is you object to those. You object to the cameras because you don't want the American people to hear the answers. No, you want to take the transcript and release it six months after you've gone out and lied about what has happened. And so, again, because the, the, gentle, lady from, from, the gentle lady from Georgia, uh, I know is such an advocate for women's rights, as she mentioned, uh, and is so concerned uh, uh, about grooming, and apparently we, we don't have any standards here anymore. Again, I, I just want to remind remind my colleagues because, you know, I, I don't want them to forget about hypocrisy, okay? I, I don't want them to forget about hypocrisy, but, you know, Donald Trump was asked about Jeffrey Epstein, and when he was asked, he said, you know, Jeffrey likes him young. Well, how did the president know that? I bring this up not, not to make jest. I bring it Point up, of order, Mr. Chairman. I bring it up. Uh, yeah. I thought we weren't going to interrupt. Uh, uh, we're going to stop the clock. We did this with Ms. Okay. Green. State your point. Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm just curious about the impugning of the former president's character. That we, we I don't we, have to do that. He does that himself. Have we, have we, uh, basically thrown that rule out? I'm just curious. Uh, or are we going to follow that? Would rule? you accept a pornographic photo of Bill Clinton? Yeah, we suspended the rule to the current president, but it, we didn't suspend it. To the, former, to the former president. But. Oh, by the way, please. So you're making the point that we can right, disparage right. Joe Biden, but not Donald Trump. Please make that point to the American people. Mm -hmm. Please. And I, Bill Clinton's not running for office. I, I, that's my point of right. order, Mr. Chairman. All right. We, uh, I'll, I'll wrap we it suspended up. the rule on the disparaging the, the current president because this is a contempt proceeding with the with the Biden, with a Biden, so he's part of the investigation. But but the, the but the rule remains in place for both all I, prior presidents. I would including I would say that, but uh, in all honesty, they've broken the rule many times today. Mr. Okay. Chairman, Mr. it doesn't apply to prior it's presidents. Not, it does not apply to former. Okay, right, okay. very good. Thank let, you. Let, listen, I, I don't. I, I won't talk about the photo and the eleven of them and the fact that he was on the plane and on the island anymore. What I will point out is the hypocrisy of today. The hypocrisy of today is. You want to hold you, you guys break a, you guys break the rules by not complying with subpoenas in the last Congress, and now you're shocked. You're you're you can't believe after you broke all of that that now it doesn't work. You come up here and talk about Hunter Biden's behavior, and you're so disgusted. But the guy that you all kneel to 
okay, associates himself with a pedophile. But remember, I, I get Mr. it. Chairman, I, 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 Mr. Chair. I, Mr. Chair. Mr. Chairman, that should be it, stricken. It, it, I ask his words taken uh, down. A statement of a fact, and it's his time. It's a, it's a fact. There's, I ask his sta words to be taken okay, down. there's a motion to take the, strike the words. Yeah. Yes. Oh, on what chairman. grounds? On what grounds? To it, say that we it, associate with it, pedophiles. It, right. and, he was referring to it, Donald Trump. No, no, no. I said Donald Trump associates. The just said that we all kneel. I kneel to Christ. I stand for the flag. Support. And if you're concerned I'll, about I'll, pornography, I'll change my, I'll change my public, word to support. Mr. Ranking Member, you might look to no, the library. Their point. No, okay. That, that your people support. So you're referring to the kneel down. Donald Trump said that I someone moved for his to be, words to be taken down. And I think he withdrew uh, it's that. A motion. I withdraw my kneel. He, he withdrew it. He withdrew it. that. That'll so be I'll, taken I'll, from We have to accept him withdrawing it. All right. Everybody good? That's going to be taken from the record. Okay. I withdraw the kneel down. I'll use the word. Very much support. We we okay with that? No snowflakes offended? Okay, wonderful. Uh, the, anyway, back to the point, Mr. Chairman, is that I just think the American people are tired of the hypocrisy, right? They're just tired of it because what they've recognized is when Donald Trump does something, it's just fine, but when someone else does it, it's a crime. Time. And time again, what you think the Chinese stayed at his hotel because they didn't have another choice? You think he wanted to have the G7 at Doral because Doral is the best property in America? Come on, you guys are smarter than this. You know he was trying to make himself rich, but when Donald Trump does it, when, when Donald Trump does it, when, when Donald Trump does it, it's just, it's just fine. But when a private citizen you claim does it, it's a crime. You guys don't have any credibility. You might have credibility on the Charlie Kirk show, but you don't have any credibility with the American people anymore. You just don't. Thank you, Mr. Uh, Chairman. Chair recognizes Mr. Mr. Burchett. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I'd ask for the uh, last word to be stricken. I, I want to just take this opportunity um, to address some of the Chairman's uh, evidentiary allegations that um, you made earlier today. Um, <coughs> first, I would just note that we keep hearing this over and over and over again, that. Donald Trump had a business, Donald Trump had real estate, Donald Trump um, you know, sold widgets or whatever it is. Obviously, there are many different ways of investing or spending money or getting paid for services or for simply uh, putting capital into another company. So I don't know what these, in, uh, these investments were that uh, Hunter Biden and Devin Archer and, and these other folks were involved in. Devin Archer testified that it was private equity. Um, that's a legitimate form of business to invest capital in other companies. Don't you believe we should get that question under oath? You got it under oath from Devin Archer, sir. In any event, let's go back to the um, let's go back to, I think, the fourth bank memorandum is what, uh, what you pointed me to earlier today, because you alleged, Mr. Chairman, that there is money that went directly from CEFC, a Chinese company, to Hunter Biden, then to Joe Biden in $40,000. Through the shells, yes. Oh, through the shells, through the shells. You didn't say that. That, that you didn't say. So I, I went back. Well, you've and, had a hard time understanding what a shell company is, but anyway, go ahead. Uh, well, you would know, wouldn't you? Oh, yeah. 